So today we're going to talk about while loops and uh, talk like how to get input from the user through the keyboard that is. So obviously uh, most programs uh, need some kind of input from the user. How do we do that? This is the format. You define a variable in which whatever user enters that value will be stored. And then the function is input and then you give a prompt to the user. Okay, then whatever that is will be stored in this variable. So let's look at an example. So I'm defining uh, my input variable. Okay, some variable. My input var is what? Now the keyword is input and please enter uh, something okay colon space so what this does is that uh, okay and then I'm just gonna show you print my input where okay so we can just print this or before this I'm just gonna print uh, from input okay space colon 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 space this comma so this thing is thrown to the screen as is plus whatever the user entered okay save it run it so that's what happens so due to this statement input please enter something it waits for the user input enter something whatever numbers string whatever you enter is read as a string so all this is read as one string you press enter the value goes inside my input var this variable okay then what happens then the next statement is print from input blah 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 and you can see these two things are the same right so whatever I entered that was put into this variable then we printed this and you're just seeing that variable okay let's run it again I enter 55 let's say enter it shows me that thing but this 55 is read as a string okay why I'll show you so if I write my input where equals my input where plus one let's say okay now I'm executing this please enter something I enter 55 so my input where should make it 56 right and then you should see 56 but let's see what happens you get an error right must be string not int on line 5 what's line 5 this is line 5 right so what is the error must be str must be a string so that's what's happening whenever you take user input it is read as a string so my input where is of type string can you add one to a string no you cannot so in this case what you have to do is typecast it to an integer in this manner so whatever you are reading put it inside the int parenthesis like this so now this input is inside this int block right in or int function now whatever is read that's converted to an integer that's put in this variable and then this variables type is integer that you can add okay so now let's run this now I enter 55 okay everything went great so now it converted into integer 55 plus 1 is 56 so print from input is 56 okay 
So that's how this works. This slide telling the same thing that input will be read as a string. If you want to use as an integer, you use casting, convert it, and you can convert in a single step or do a two step process. Either way is fine. Okay, in my example, I did it in one step, you can do in two steps also. Similarly, if you want a float, you convert typecast it to a float and so on. Okay.